I asked you to imagine what life would look like having to quarantine for 14 days in a motorhome, you might think of very simple days looping one into another. Well, let me tell you something. For the most part, you'd be right. In the span of a few short months, we went from running free, exploring Bali, Indonesia, to three months of self-isolation in Bali, to flying halfway across the world during COVID, to arriving in Canada and being ordered by the government to quarantine for 14 days. Uh, yeah, seven months. After considering a few options, for us it made the most sense to spend our quarantine time in our motorhome. Thank goodness for loved ones dropping off groceries for us. This made a huge positive impact on our stay. Look at all this health food. Doritos, Doritos. Twix. Everything but the chicken. You gotta keep it healthy. Okay, I've already done two bags. Nice work. Thank you so much. Overall, the transition to motorhome life from living in Bali was somewhat of a soft landing for us, as we had been primarily full-timing in our motorhome during the Canadian summers for the last eight years. The two major adjustments were obviously temperature, where in Bali it was sunny and plus 30 every day, Compared to when we returned home to Canada, it was mostly cloudy and rainy and usually around 15. The other adjustment that was quite significant was the jet lag. After being in Asia for more than six months, changing that many time zones in a short period was taxing on the body. We would be going along trying to make somewhat of a normal day and then out of nowhere in the middle of the afternoon, jet lag would hit and even Lori would pass right out. And she's a never nap. He's a never nude. Is that exactly what it sounds like? Tobias suffered a rare psychological affliction of never being able to be completely naked. Excuse me, do these effectively hide my thunder? Ah. Delivery. Thanks. I'll just drop them here. Welcome, friend. <laughs> okay, enjoy while it's warm. Thanks very much, we You're appreciate welcome. it. I'll add it to our running total. You betcha. Thank you so much. You're welcome, enjoy. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Thanks to the delivery of groceries and the odd treat, now we could make a decent cup of coffee, which proved to be extremely helpful when trying to be productive in a day when you were still fighting jet lag. Now with the help of being charged up on caffeine and the everyday midday blackout, we could begin to do some of the little things you might do in a normal day. Like small repairs around the RV. Computer work. making meals and doing small household chores. Well, in some senses, the quarantine was fairly restrictive. You know, for example, we weren't allowed to even leave our campsite for the entire 14 days. But in some other respects, it was rather positive. You know, as I mentioned before, we needed all of those 14 days to recover from the jet lag that we experienced from being in Asia and Australia for six months. It also gave us the time to catch up on repairs and computer work. 
with that said, obviously we're happy to be through that quarantine experience, to again have a measure of freedom to explore our home province of Alberta for what's left of the Canadian summer. Hopefully this gives you a peer inside what it was like for us to quarantine in our motorhome. My name's Eric, this is Plan Free. If you like the video, please press the like button and leave us a comment before you go. If you'd like a free way to support the channel, click the subscribe button. It only takes a second, but it helps a lot. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.